Hello, this is Yang Feng Li Tai Ji, Traditional Form, Section 3. And today we're basically going to end the Section 3. Um, last time we did Bend the Bow, Shoot the Tiger. And so the last three moves we have left, you already know. So it's going to be parry block and punch, apparent close up, cross hands, and then we're going to end the form. So as our warm up, we're going to do the third section, beginning with cross hands. I'm going to turn around, I'm going to do the same direction as you. And then um, as we're doing it, I want you to think about keeping your head up. Okay, basically expand your spine. And um, you'll find that uh, it helps your form a lot. Okay, and uh, if you have any questions at the end of the practice, we'll work on whatever you want to uh, work on. So let's start with cross hands. Embrace tiger, return to mountain. Shift right, turn the left toe past the corner. Shift your weight back, separate your hands. Swing, step, brush, strike, roll back. Circle your arms as you shift your weight back. Turn to the side. Press, pull in the right, attach the left and expand forward. Push, square up your shoulders to the left, right foot direction. Square up your hands, come back over a ball, hands in front of your chest, and push forward. Diagonal single whip. Shift weight back and flatten your hands. Turn and pull. Press down, release the left foot. Ward off with the left, hook hand with the right, standing ward off step, deflect, strike. Wild horse parts its main one, shift back. Turn your left foot past the corner. Pull back, step and close, turn and separate. Two. Pull with the right, ward off with the left. Come together, step and close, turn and separate. Three, come back, pull left, ward off right. Step and close, separate and shift weight. Transition to grasp the bird's tail, shift back. Turn your right toe to the corner, shift your weight to the right, pull in the left, step and close, shift and separate. Ward off right, shift right, turn the left foot to the corner, pull left, ward off down right, step and close, shift weight, separate. Roll back. Rotate your arms as you rotate your waist to the corner. Shift your weight back and turn to the other corner. Press, pull in the right, attach the left, expand forward. Push, square up your shoulders, flatten your hands. Come back over a ball, hands in front of your chest and push to shoulder level. Single whip. Shift back, flatten your hands, turn and pull. Press down, release the left foot, ward off with the left, hook hand with the right, standing ward off step, deflect, strike. Fair lady works the shuttles. Shift right, come across, come back, Step, 
um, passing palm, open, strike. Two, press down, turn, step and close, open, strike, and turn your left foot to the side. Three, press down, change your footwork, turn, passing palm, open, strike. Four, press down, turn, passing palm, step and close, open, strike, and turn the left foot to the side. Transition to grasp the bird's tail. Shift your weight back, hands in roll back position. Turn the right foot to the corner. Shift weight to the right. Pivot the left foot, step and close. Open and shift weight. Right ward off, shift right. Turn the left foot to the corner. Pull left ward off right. Step and close. Separate and shift weight. Roll back, rotate your arms, turn to the corner. Shift weight back as you move to the other corner. Press, pull in the right, attach the left. Expand forward. Push, square up your shoulders, flatten your hands. Come back over a ball, hands in front of your chest. Push to shoulder level. Single width. Shift back. Turn and pull. All the way around, press down, ward off left, hook hand right, standing ward off step, deflect, strike. Cloud hands, shift right, turn, one. Two. Three, single whip. Snake creeps down. Turn your right foot to the corner. Come down. Make a C with the left hand. Come forward. Golden rooster steps on one leg. Come back up. Turn the right foot to the corner. Pull with the left. Lifting hand with the right, up, down. Two, step back, pull back, one up, one down. Repulse monkey, come back, hand to the shoulder, turn and strike. Two, swing, step, hand to the shoulder, Turn and strike. Three, swing, step. Hand to the shoulder. Turn and strike. Diagonal flying. Turn. Step. And open as you turn the left foot to the straight. Raise hands and step forward. Come in. Circle the arms, push off the ball of the right foot, root the right heel and close. White crane spreads its wings, turn your hands, pull down. Step and close, turn, step and open. Left brush knee, turn your hands, swing, step. Step, brush, strike. Needle at sea bottom. Yield forward, pull in the right foot. Pull back, push off the heel of the left foot. Change your footwork. Sink down. Bend through the back. Come up, 
attach the left to the right, step, and separate. Turn body and white snake spits out its tongue. Circle your arms, turn your foot, make your fist. Uh, open your hand and strike. Parry, block, and punch. Hands come to the center, pull down, swing, step, parry, block, punch. Shangbu, transition to right ward off. Open, pull with the left, ward off down with the right, step and close, right ward off. Roll back, rotate your arms, move to the corner, shift weight back, come to the other corner. Press, pull in the right, attach the left, and expand forward. Push, square up your shoulders, flatten your hands, come back over a ball, hands in front of your chest, and push to shoulder level. Single whip. Shift back, turn and pull, press down, ward off left, hook and right, standing ward off, step, deflect, strike. Cloud hands, shift right, turn, one, step. Two, three, single whip. High pad on horse, activate your hands, push off the front foot, change to empty stance and stripe, thrust palm, bow stance, and thrust forward. Turn body and cross kick. Turn, stand up, and kick. Step and punch to the groin. Turn, brush, strike. Come up, shangbu. Open, pull left, ward off right, right ward off, roll back, turn to the corner, shift weight back, turn to the other corner, press, pull in the right, attach the left, expand forward, push, square up your shoulders, flatten your hands, Come back over a ball, hands in front of your chest, push forward, single whip, shift back, flatten your hands, pull and turn, press down, ward off with the left, hook in with the right, standing ward off, step, deflect, strike. Snake creeps down, turn the right foot to the corner, come back, make a C with the left, step up to seven stars, come back up, turn the right foot to the corner, pull with the left, hand comes to, right hand comes under the ribs, make your fists, empty stance and punch. Step back and ride the tiger. Step back and turn your hands. Pull, circle, change your footwork, and end. Turn body and right and lotus kick. Hands come flat, cross, turn, turn. Sweep, stand up, 
and kick. Bend the bow and shoot the tiger. Punch. How did that go? Are there any questions? Quick one. Uh, in between um, horse's mane, I've got the first word. Um, yeah. Parting the horse's mane. Uh, in between parting horse's mane, I probably forgot this detail. Once you finish one, you said there is a uh, pull sideways. So, uh, okay. So, parting the wild horse's mane and um, the end of Fair Lady both have transitions to uh, grasp the bird's tail. And yeah, the but difference has to in, do with the footwork. Yeah, but my question was in between parting horses, main one and two and two and three. There was a, with the left. Uh, yes. And we okay. see those transitions in between the same form, not, not to grasp the bird's tail. Okay, was... so let's say that you are at diagonal single width. Right. Okay. You turn. Yeah. Then what you're going to do is you're going to shift all your weight to the left. Right. So your your foot comes in. Yeah. Step Got and that. close. Got that. And then you open. Right. Then the transition is in the traditional way, what you did was you came back and you moved your right foot out. But what happened was people move their right foot out too much. So now we just have people put your foot back down in the same spot. Okay. So what you're going to do now is you're going to put your weight on the right and pull in the left. So when you do that, what you're going to do is you're going to pull with the right and make a ward off down shape with the left okay. as you come in. Step and close. Separate and shift weight. So you're crossing the middle of the forearm center as you come across. And then the same thing on the other side. You come back, pull, ward off down, come together, step and close, shift weight and turn. Okay, so the pulling hand sort of changes orientation uh, before the pulling, the left one in this case. So going, whatever yeah. is the up hand starts yeah. pulling. Okay. Okay, so, so if this is the up hand, this starts pulling and this wards off. Uh -huh. And then come together, step and close. This is the up hand. So when you come back, pull, ward off, come together, step and close. Wonderful. I had forgotten that detail. Um, and I noticed your gaze is a bit downwards. It actually you... should be up. It should no, be past. When, when you close, when you step and yes. close. When you close, you look. Okay, so if I were doing it toward you, okay? So when I'm coming down here, I am looking past my elbow. Okay. That way. And then I am following this hand as it comes up. All right, got it. You see what I mean? In terms Wonderful. of the gaze? Yeah, it makes sense. Thank you. Okay. So just think of it as a ward off. It is just like ward off. So th that's the way it, it is a big ward off. Yeah, that's, that's very big ward off, but yeah. A very big ward off, <laughs> yes. Thank you. Okay, are there any other questions? 
Should we reveal Lotus Kick and Ben the Bow Shoot the Tiger? Yes? No? Okay. <laughs> All right. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to start at the end of, uh, uh, what is it? Oh, I guess, uh, no, we're going to, we're going to start at the end of cross hands. Let's, let's start at the end of seven stars. Okay. So at the end of seven stars, you have empty stance, your hands are crossed in front. Then, um, when you step back, I want you to step back and turn your hands at the same time. Then you're going to push off the heel of the front foot, pull, and then you're going to, I'm going to show you this way. You're going to pull, then you're going to turn this fist to face that direction. Okay, so here, you were here, you step back, you pull, and then you turn your fist, change your footwork, and change your hands. Okay? Now, if I'm doing it the same direction as you, the next part is turn and lotus kick. So, your hands come down to about the same level. Then, the right goes under the left and you start pulling. Once this hand gets to the corner, you start pivoting on the left foot until you get to this corner and you can't go any further on the left foot. Then you lift the heel of the right foot and keep turning until you get to that corner. Then you put all your weight on the right and sweep. So at the end of your sweep, what it should look like is an empty stance to the corner with your hands kind of like at the end of um, um, Fair Lady 2 when you're putting your hands down to start Fair Lady 3. That's what it looks like. Then you're going to stand up and kick. And then once you, once you finish, you step so that you're rooting the right heel. And then you move your hands and flatten your right foot and make your fist. Then you shift weight and punch at the same time. So the important thing is you always root before you make the move, okay? So if you are at the end of your kick, uh, let's, okay, let's say you kick, then you step and then you move your hands, you get to your fists, bend knee, strike. So your gaze moves from that corner to that corner because, well, what happens is at the end of your kick, you are looking that way. But when your hands move down here, you're moving, your gaze moves to that side. And then when you punch, you, your gaze moves back to the other corner. Okay? So the way the punch works is, okay, if you're here, you step, and then you're here and you make your fist. Now this 
hand comes up above your head. But this hand comes to your shoulder and out. So it does not come out this way. It comes to your shoulder and out. Okay. So you want to make sure you have your fist eyes up. And then when you're actually punching, this face of each of your fists is going toward the corner. So make sure you're aiming your fist face at the right spot. So you're here, step, swing, make your fists, shift weight. Okay, once again, you're here, you step, swing, make your fist, shift weight. The other thing that you have to be careful of is when you step, make sure you have a good bow stance, okay? Because when you finish, when you are here and you finish turning around, what you had here was an empty stance, okay? And then you did your kick. Now I want you to step to a bow stance. Make sure that's wide enough. Then shift, strike. Because you're not going to have a good enough base for that strike if you don't have a good bow stance. Okay. Are there any questions on that? Yes. Uh, after seven stars, when you go into strike tiger, as you pull your right arm, does your left arm start circling as you pull or until your right hand is at your hip, you start bringing it down, uh, circling so, left? Uh, so after seven so stars? Here. So oh, at, the, at the end of seven stars, yeah. Yeah. okay, you're, when you move your foot back, right. you move your hands, okay? Right. When you pull, you're going to pull against the heel of your front foot. You're going right. to push, okay? So this hand pretty much stays in the same spot in space. Can you see that? Oh, okay. Okay? But it Then when this, here, when I show you here, 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 okay? When this starts circling, this starts circling also. But when you pull, your left arm stretches, but not because your hand moves, but because your trunk because moves. Because your body moves. Yes. Okay. Got it. Thank you. Okay. So from here, step back. Pull, circle, change footwork, and change hands. Yes? Yes, thank you. Okay. Any other questions? So in terms of the timing here, When you're, so here, when you're here, you start thinking about pivoting on the front foot. When you're here, your front, your left foot is finished pivoting. Then you're going to lift the heel of the right foot 
and continue pivoting. And then you're going to sweep. And then you're going to end up with an empty stance and then just lift up and do your kick. So as you're pulling, you're going to have a standing palm, okay? The following hand is flat, but the leading hand is pulling. So the palm is standing. Do you see what I'm saying? So you're here. Once you get to the corner, this palm is standing. This hand is pointing at the right forearm center. Turn. Turn. Stand up. Hit. Okay. Okay, then if there aren't any more questions on those two moves, any more questions? No? Uh, we'll go on to the next three. Now, the next one is Perry Block and Punch, which you have done lots of times. Every time Perry Block and Punch seems to have a slightly different transition. So the, the one that's the most different is the end of second section. This one is more like the end of first section. And the main difference has to do with the footwork. At the end of first section, you were at left brush knee. So you shift back and you turn your left foot to the corner as your hands came to the center. And then you pull down, swing, step, parry, block, and punch. This time, you are not coming from here. What is here? This is a bow stance, left foot forward and the right foot to the corner. You are coming from the end of bend the bow, shoot the tire. So where are you now? You're here. So you have a bow stance to the corner, right? So in order to make the transition to um, parry, block, and punch, what you're going to do is you are, your weight is forward. So what you're going to do is you're going to shift this foot to the corner. Then you're going to shift this foot to the corner. And then you're going to do your parry, block, and punch. OK. And the reason you're doing it this way is that your feet are actually pretty far apart for going that way. So what you're doing is you're compensating by turning this foot to the corner and moving this foot to the corner so that it's easy for you to do your parry block and punch, okay? It has to do with how you can orient your body and your hips so it's easier for you to do it, okay? So if you think about your here, your bow stance, this foot is straight, this foot is to the corner. This is your back foot. See, when you were here, this was your front foot. So it's easy just to turn, lift up, and go. But because this is the back foot, then you're going to have, and your weight is forward, you're going to take advantage of this weight being forward and turn. Shift back, turn. Then you can pull, okay? So once again, you're here, here, shift. As you, as you turn this foot to parallel to this foot, your hands come to the center. Pull, 
Swing step, parry, block, punch. So you keep your fist on your right hand. You never, you all, you, from the previous one, you already have two fists. So you, you already keep... have fists. And, and that is often true. In other words, you have transitions to parry, block, and punch with fists and without fists. Okay. In the past. Right? Right. So that is, but you're right, that is the other difference between uh, from the first one, because the first one you had no fist and you had to make the fist. This one, you already have the fist, so, so you, you keep... don't have to make the fist. Oh, okay. But you do have to open the left hand, right? Because you're here. When you come to the center, this is open. This is closed because you're going to swing. Okay. So from bow stance to the corner, then the bow shoot the tiger. You're going to turn the left foot to the corner, turn the right foot to the corner as your hands come to the center. Swing. Step, parry, block, punch. So once again, you're here, step, center, swing, step, parry, block, and punch. So bend the bow shoot the tiger, you're starting, bow stance to the corner. You're here, this foot is straight, this foot is to the corner. Turn your foot, turn your foot as your hands come to the center, pull down, swing, step, parry, block and punch. Remember that when you do your swing step, your step is one line, two sides. But then when you do your step for the punch, it's going to be a bow stance. So, here, open, center, swing, step, parry. When you parry, all your weight has shifted forward to the front. There's no weight back here. Block and punch.
So here, timing, here, turn, turn, pull, swing, step, one line, two sides. All the weight comes to the front as you parry. Step and block, shift weight strike. Rahelio, you're late. <laughs> Here. Here. Step. You're centered. Swing. Step. When my hand comes to the end, I step. All the weight comes to the front. Sense. Much better. Okay. And the rest of it is just like the end of the second and third sections. So let's go through it really quickly. Okay. So if we are starting from bend the bow, shoot the tiger, we're here. We shift. Turn the left foot, turn the right foot, hands come to the center, pull down, swing, step, parry, block, punch, apparent close up, yield forward, passing palm, open the right fist, pull back, get ready to push. Push, cross hands, make your triangle, shift to the right, chop to the corner, hands facing back, cross at the bottom, come up to the top, and closing. Stand up, turn your palms over, come almost to the bottom and close. And that is it, the end of the third section, the end of the whole form. <laughs> so um, what I was thinking of doing for the next couple of classes is review. So uh, like next class, I was thinking maybe of doing Parting the Horse's Mane and Fair Lady as the review segments. And then the next class we'll do the next section. How do you feel about that? That would be great. Sounds good. Okay. Um, Loretta, are there any sections you would like to work on? I learned something from all of them. So, <laughs> yeah, like today, that bit about turning the left foot out before, um, <clears throat> sorry, <coughs> um, before parry, block, and punch, I never thought of it that way. And you're right, it makes it easier. So that's refinement I'm sticking in my <laughs> toolbox. Thank you. <laughs> that's great. Okay, so let's do from um, uh, Snake Creeps Down to uh, Seven Stars and all the way to the end as our uh, ending move. Okay, so single whip. 
Snake crease down. Turn the right foot to the corner. Come back as you come down. And go forward. Seven stars. Come back up. Turn the right foot to the corner. Pull with the left as you turn your left foot out. Make your fists and empty stance and punch. Step back and ride the tight. Step back and turn your fists. Push off the heel of your front foot. Circle your arms, change your footwork and open your palms. Turn body and let and lotus kick. Even your palms. Right hand under left. Turn. Turn. Sweep. Stand up. Kick. Bend the bow. Shoot the tiger. Step. Turn, make your fists, bend your knee, and strike. Parry block and punch. Come back. Turn your left foot, turn your right foot. Hands come to the center. Pull down, swing, step, parry, block, punch. Apparent close-up, yield forward, passing palm, open your right palm, come back, get ready to push, and push. Cross hands, make a triangle with your hands, shift weight, chop, come back, palms facing back, step Cross at the bottom, come up to the top, closing. Turn hands over, press down, almost to the bottom, and close. Okay? Well, thank you very much for coming to class, and I will see you next week. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Bye -bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Rita. You're welcome.